Hey YouTube, so basically these videos are just for me to remind myself, <sighs> not remind, but just to remember all the mods I've done to the car, the vehicle, all these things I've done to it, just so it's kind of like a, like a photo album, but it's more like uh, with videos. So right now what I'm doing is decatting the, the 240, taking off the piping, <clears throat> well, these two bolts right here this one and the one that's still on there um, were really hard to take out so I had to get them professionally out and I went and did that so the thing is the one closest to me came off uh, perfectly then the one on the other side broke off so I had to get so the person that was taking them out, taking them out had a like a uh, drill it out or something like that so the holes a little different now so what I had to use is a thinner thinner bolt so it goes through the hole and I just put a, put a uh, nut on the other side and then that's how it holds it so I'm taking that off I don't really know how to take off the hinges there's tons of videos that showed me it's not hard but uh, I think you just can't really see but here you just kind of undo that bolt right there that you're seeing and so that guy right there and then that's pretty much it and it comes off there's like little circle, I don't know, there's just like little cylinders inside there that you gotta take out. And I don't know how to explain it, but I just need to disconnect it, take off the muffler, that's all I gotta do. It's not hard at all. And decat it and repaint it. That's pretty much it. And then right now, I'm hoping I can take that off. It's like a shield. At least take off the bottom part, keep the top, and then I don't know. I was gonna paint it, but never mind. I'm just paint it from the what is it called from the headers back. So starting for the cat, I'm gonna start painting it, prepping it, and decatting it as well, and then taking off the bottom shield from here. So I'm gonna do this first, and then take off the shield after I'm done masking. I'm not masking after I'm done prepping. Then I'm gonna paint it then decatting it okay i'll be right back i took off the shield already so you see how it only has the top shield which is nice it stops right there i got the thing right there and another one up there so it doesn't rattle um it's off yeah it's a little ugly the bolt didn't want to come off i ended up breaking it it's perfectly fine this part is orangey rusted kind of because of the heat i'm gonna leave that like that but everything after that it's gonna be paint it so it doesn't rust anymore I haven't opened this car door in a long time so I need to put some oil in there but here we go check engine light even when the cat's up yeah there's no there's no uh liquid spilling out hella bad it's, i thought it was it's not i thought it, that's what was gonna happen so that's good this is how it sounds from far away it doesn't even sound that loud actually but uh the thing is um I'm gonna rev it and let's see what else. Yeah, I mean, it just smells like gas, but it, it's not that bad. I don't think nothing's wrong with it. So I'm gonna rev it with the door closed. So this is how it sounds inside. That's just idling. That's pretty bad, actually. And when I'm driving it and put accelerating, it's probably louder. So here's, here's uh, me pressing the gas. Sounds pretty stupid, but hey, it's loud. I'm not gonna drive it like this, it's illegal. And here's the door open, revving it. It's pretty damn loud. Way loud. Way louder than I expected. So, that's that. I don't know if the neighbors are mad. 
honestly, I'm not that type of person that likes to annoy people. I hardly ever am loud. So yeah, um, that's that. It looks good. I fixed the bottom, so that's good now. Um, just need to restore this guy, fix that up. But that's how it sounds. It sounds pretty dumb, but hey, I needed to take it out. So what I'm going to do first is try to take this out. It's just kind of like a little fin there. And then on this side, it doesn't have it. This is fine. I'm going to just leave it like that because it's kind of a shield for it. Paint that. Obviously sand it. Same here, same here. This is uh, pretty bad too, just like the other side. This is the only thing that's rusted on the car, literally. And then restore this guy, not take anything off. I was going to peel it, but whatever. Then I already have PB Blaster here. Take these bolts out, take that out, and then hollow it with uh, a screwdriver or whatever I have. I can see the, the little honeycomb looking thing in there. Hollow that bad boy. It's not even going to be loud. That's not even that loud. I mean, it is. But after having all this, it ain't going to be that loud anyway. So I'm still going to decat it. The thing I was going to say that I didn't say over there was that it doesn't show a check engine light even though the cat's out. The thing is, it's because any car older than 94 can be decat or not have no cat at all. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hollow this out. No check engine lights. It's perfectly fine. Runs good. So I'm going to do that. Put it back on. Have no cat. We're just a hollow cat. And then going to be a teensy bit louder and that's how I'm going to have it because I do want the stock exhaust to be louder but not too loud so that's going to be the best way to do it just decat it and that's it keep this and that and if I want later in the future which I do is put a uh, cut off valve right there make that straight I do have enough space I check so put a cut off valve right there and then Right on top of the, def uh, what is it called? The resonator. And then we're good to go. So, decat it right now. I'll show you guys that later. So, just a reminder for myself. Um, there's a hinge here. But the thing is, this broke off. And the funny thing is, yeah, it broke off. That's pretty much it. I was going to say this is a bolt, so I could just take it out. But it's not. And I just realized that right now. But, hey, either way, this grabs t a... a teensy a little bit but the good thing is that it's close enough to this because this is what it's really grabbing onto it's right there not so much here because there's another hinge right there so you don't got to worry about that this is perfectly fine i'm not going to use the little cylinder it comes with take that off so it's a lot easier to take off when i ever want to take it off again the, the whole exhaust then these don't have anything on there you just gotta push them really hard the best way to take these out is by just dropping this whole thing and just pushing it out out of the the stud that's on there so it's yeah so I was trying to take it off while this was still up there pulling it it's not it's not that it's not that easy you gotta drop this first and then push it that way so that's how do you take those off so I just painted the whole exhaust with heat resistant paint it's black so it's a lot more newer restored a little bit better so the rust isn't gonna rust as bad and Let's see what else. I covered these tubes right here. So I'm probably going to take that off right now. Um, I am going to paint it again after I put off the cutoff valve. But for now, I think it looks fine. Um, so yeah. So I hollowed out the cat. It was a bitch, so check this out. I don't know if I, got, I, don't know if I told you guys, but um, I broke this bolt right here. I had to make a new hole, cut it off, and drill it in. And the hole was too much this way, so I had to drill it that way. It took a while, and now it's good to go. It's right on there. And hollowed out the cat. So that's that in there. I'm glad there's no light seeping through, so that means this gasket's good. It's sealed, and nothing's in there anymore, so now it's kind of straight piped from here so I'm gonna take off that uh, what is called diffuser no it's called a resonator take off the resonator and put the cutoff valve there and make it straight right there I do have enough space so do that right there so it's gonna be straight pipe from there and I still have these two mufflers I think that's a muffler or a resonator 
and it's going to be quiet enough so it's going to sound stock with this and um, I'm going to sound aftermarket or louder when I switch on my cutoff valve. So that's that and I'm going to install it tomorrow.